So a lot of people always ask me, why did you move to Birmingham? You grew up in New York. You lived in California. You've lived in Miami. Why would you choose Birmingham, Alabama? And here is what I found out about Birmingham. It is bad When I first moved to Birmingham, I was fresh out of college with a degree in neurobiology. I could do anything and go anywhere, and so I decided to move to the South because I've never lived there. So, as any logical human being would do, I packed my bags and took a cross-country road trip where I eventually ended up in Birmingham and completely fell in love with its southern charm. Shortly after moving there, I got a job as a neurophysiology tech at the UAB hospital right here. I had the intention of going back to school to pursue a medical degree of some kind, maybe be a doctor, but that just didn't appeal to me because I was also very active in the music scene. Turns out, that was way more fun than hanging out in a hospital all day. Fast forward to a few years later, I am now a full-time musician. Welcome to A Day in the Life with Raquel Lilly. Right now, I am in a rush, as usual, trying to get to this gig uptown in Birmingham. Well, all right, let's go. Martin, how does it feel to uh, step your face before the gig? It feels really good. Another day, another show in the world of Raquel Lilly, Rachel Liley. Um, just got done packing up the car here. Tonight I'm playing at Cellar 91, which is a country club in Birmingham. The shit, it's like playing Tetris. Here we go! Aside from writing my own music, I play anything and everywhere. I'm on fire. I also stream music on Twitch. But I kept rhyme and step right in the next cipher. And I cosplay and I get silly. I, hear me, baby, one more time. Girl, sing it. Living in but besides all the internet stuff that I do, I play all around town with my full band. Anywhere. Birmingham, you're beautiful. Eventually all that passion, fortunately, turned into a full-time job for me. From my music recordings and the CDs and posters that I send out, everything that I do is completely DIY. And living in Birmingham has definitely shaped me into the musician I am today. What's really awesome is that I'm constantly surrounded by amazing musicians. All right, I'm not gonna lie, but a big reason why I was attracted to the South is because of the bomb ass food. Birmingham takes that shit seriously. People who grew up in Birmingham, I feel like, don't seem to fully appreciate all the stuff here, maybe because they grew up here and think that it's the same old town. It's funny when you talk to a transplant like me, so dazzled by Birmingham, but you're talking to someone from here, they're like, oh, whatever, I'd live in New York any day. Look, there's a reason why Alabama is ranked as one of the top three fattest states in the nation, but I am not complaining. My boys! I mean, Jesus Christ, we have a freaking bacon truck, for God's sakes. Okay, besides playing music and eating my weight in food, there's actually a lot of outdoor activities. So Birmingham is really deep rooted in its southern history and it really shows in the neighborhoods because they're so pretty. It's my favorite coffee spot here. I can sit here and edit and do work.
This is one of my favorite places to eat. It's called Rojo. It's daytime and BAM! I think Highland is one of the chillest places in Birmingham, to be honest, but I'm a little biased because I live near there. Another thing I really love about Birmingham is the amount of parks we have here. I've actually played a show here before. You know you're in Birmingham when you see Alexander Shinora, baby! I think I could talk for many musicians in town and that Highland Music, this place that I'm at, has fixed a lot of my shit. Same here. Okay, even our groceries are badass because we have cold fucking craft beer here. You can get a growler and fill that shit up. The heart of downtown, which is Five Points, where we are right now, is home to the Satanic Circle. Right in front of the church, baby. That's how we roll. Just kidding, we're not Satanists here. <coughs> Pretty soon. A bunch of my friends work at Black Market. It's a really cool place to hang out, and I've definitely played shows here. Birmingham in general has a lot of mom and pop shops, and honestly, I'd rather support that than corporate bullshit being stuffed down my throat. I've spent many a drunken night here. It's always 420 somewhere, eh? Hey! This particular area is notoriously known for how expensive and fancy the food is. Look at this unbeknownst hipster crap. Aren't we so cool? This right here, this is my after hours booty call. All right, hands down favorite spot right here is the cantina truck. And of course a Raquel Lily cantina stop is not complete without shots. Okay, have I mentioned the amazing barbecue that we have here? I mean, we are in the South. Saw's Juke Joint in Avondale is amazing. I mean, I legit had to stop being a pescatarian because of this shit. I, she, Jesus. Okay, I know I keep talking about food, but this place called Post Office Pies in Avondale is run by a guy from Brooklyn. Okay, okay, last thing about food. There's this place called Hot Diggity Dogs, which you could get some phenomenal gourmet hot dogs and you think it's just a hot dog stand, but oh, wait a minute. What, what is this Doctor Who shit? Let's see how do you open this shit here. Okay, all right. What are you dial? There's four, wait, six, sorry, six. All right, thank you. And it's a speakeasy called the Marble Ring. Your appetite, like what you see, it's what you get. Or am I deep full of regret? All that you know, too little life, but can you see what is inside? I'm surface level, so check out that old fashioned done right. Another party spot is like, what is going on here? Why? The girl, Jesus, and this guy's playing drums, and that's cool. Hey, what's up, man? I got wings, bitch! I'm a pride. We've got some rentable bikes for all your drunken needs. Birmingham is also home to some great craft breweries. And this one is one of my favorites in town called Avondale Brewery. This is my favorite beer. Oh, so good, so good. And no brewery is complete in Birmingham without a place to play live music. All this bar hopping is making me a little bit drunk. Parkside is another fantastic bar that I frequent. And 
I, I lied. There's more food. Last but not least, we've got some awesome music venues here in Birmingham, and Saturn happens to be one of them. Who doesn't love an old school space themed motherboard lined bar? And Haley Schweet! I mean this when I say this, but I've never felt so at home until I lived in Birmingham. This place is just magical, and I, I just love it. 